Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion 1.7 I'm 7 foot dust bunny and today we're as you can see back at base Ooh, some crops need harvesting we'll do this very quickly I hadn't noticed oh and I just noticed then just out the corner of my eye my armor needs repairing it didn't show like it like it sh should because we're gonna need all the food we can handle because we're gonna have to make some seedlings today I suspect um, because we have a couple of interesting things coming up I am preparing this base for basically being a long-term well in long-term low power running it's sorry show you what it's doing it's making hydrogen bottles millions of them um, in long-term low power running for when we leave the planet now I'm building all these weapons on here but my goal is actually not to need them because I'm hoping that by the time it comes to leaving the planet I'm actually gonna have no Xerax left here as is, if I bring up the map quickly, we have an artillery base which I want to kill. Something which I'm not sure what it is here. And on the way back I buzzed this, which is indeed the drone base. And that is pretty much it. Now, I want to put an auto miner down on the Prometheum. I want to put an auto miner on the Titanium. And I want to put an auto miner on the copper as those are the three resources on this planet I haven't put an auto miner on. The main reason for this is that if things do go horribly wrong at some point, I will be able to come back here and at least have a good shout at picking myself back up. Now, as you may notice, there is a hole in the floor in front of me. This hole is there for a reason. Um, the reason being that if I go to the pearl you'll be able to see here this is all a lot of this is the goodies we got from our uh, missile base which we took down now somewhere here unless I've moved them into another container which I may have because I've used one of them already I think I have there were also a bunch of fuel tanks I am gonna stick these fuel tanks into this base. Maybe not all of them, but probably most of them. Um, there should be. Where where did they go? Am I am I deluding myself? They were here somewhere. And I've renamed another one of the these boxes, so I'm confusing myself further. But in the pearl there was can, am I not seeing them? There was several in fact th seven there were seven large armor lar large um, fuel tanks oxygen tanks now I've installed one already I shall show you I've installed one down here along with some additional tankage here and as you can see this one doesn't run because we don't need it um, that one only turns on when I turn the teleporter on but as is with almost full capability we have got I have got two constructors running at the moment we've got 12 hours when we don't we're around 38 hours now I need to quickly find what the hell I've done with these fuel tanks which I can't find which is frustrating me slightly um, so I will find them and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do okay so I'm back and go figure yeah I have actually this is I tend to what I tend to do at the end of an episode or if I'm doing some bits in between episodes is I tend to make a save and then I take the exit which gives you a separate save then I sometimes create a copy to create backups of saves and things like that 
So I went back to the backup of the save on which I just started the episode. And in the backup, they're here. I have them. They're in the ammo container where I expected them to be. But on the other save, because I've been back into that one as well and checked, they're not there. So I'm not sure what happened, but you guys saw me loot it, so I think it's justified that I have them. Anyway, these are going in here. At least five of them. I don't think I need all six, but I want to stick five of these in here. Um, now, whether they're actually going to fit without me digging a bigger hole is a different matter. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Aha! Want it to fit right there. I think I need to dig a bigger hole. So, we'll dig this out a little bit more. Come on. There you go. Doesn't take a lot of doing. Alright. Still. I'll put that one in. Uh, I'm guessing the other one doesn't want to go. One, two, three, four. I wanted to put five in. Let me let me put it in. Is this just an area just not quite big enough? I mean, I'm not too worried because this this isn't spanning. It'll be supported by the nature of having the fuel tanks in there. But if I put these five fuel tanks in, and then get trapped in the hole, and I can put my uh, carbon substrate block back in, because I've actually replaced this floor from being concrete to make it carbon substrate. Um, really, just because it didn't need to be concrete, and that's how tight I'm going to be on CPU, is that I am literally grasping at anything I can grasp at to give me that extra CPU. I don't know what I've done with my um, my texture gun. But we can sort that out another time. Texture gun, be damned. Unless I find it in here. No. See, now I want to find it. Now I'm just like, where did my texture gun go? Why is everything disappearing? here. But my texture gun, I'm much more likely to have just stuffed that somewhere. It could even be in the fridge for all I know. Could be in here and I just can't see it. Um, anyway, doesn't matter where the texture gun is. Let's just forget about the texture gun for now. So this is the loot we had. I'm going to grab that because I'm going to swap my armor over. A lot of this is really surplus to requirements. I mean, we've got the two T um, T4 extenders, which is great, but I don't really want to push this base up to T4. I'd like to keep it as is. <coughs> At the moment, sorry about that. At the moment, the main aim is to get as much food and power and everything like that as possible ready to go because at some point in the near future we will be planning to leave however that's not going to be for another couple of episodes because I do want to clear this planet but I've been teasing for a while that I'm going to be bringing in a new ship and that I am and this is the episode it's going to come in and it's going to take up in theory, if I've sized it right, this entire platform. So, I need to clear some space. Um, this one's probably going to go with it. This one's probably going to stay behind. So I'll move these a minute, and um, then I'll bring you back in when we're we've got a bit of daylight for a start, and we're going to bring the ship in. Okay, so I've moved both the CVs, 
of off the platforms. Uh, morning has broken, and um, why does this, does this appear to be on? That's a bit weird. Like that side of the ship is on. That side of the ship is off. That side of the ship is on. Very strange. Anyway, uh, I needed to pass a little bit more time to get to some daylight, so I went out and collected a bunch of my auto miners. Um, I will probably do another round of collection before I leave. But now, without further ado, we're going to go for the big reveal. Um, now, many of you are going to know this ship designer. I'm not going to be able to get up here, even though I've switched my armor and put in a multi boost and a jetpack boost. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up on here. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Can I actually drop the ship like this, though? See that little spot there is meant to tell me where the center that way is and we got the repair bay here so this is a J Randall build and it is the Astra destroyer it was built back in Alpha 10 right before um, we went into 1.0 but it still works it's got a few little things that will probably need we'll need to tweak on it but I love this ship this ship is beautiful question is can I actually drop it in on this uh, on this uh, platform oh god let's try not to uh, I think let's try doing it with my drone see if that will do it um, it should fit on this platform but it may not want to spawn in on this platform um, because the uh, things are going to be the um, turret stations are going to be well too high or in the way okay we're just going to spawn it like that and hope it and hope it lands no that's not going to work I was going to try and bring it towards me then. Um, oh, I'm sure that ain't going to work. I'm sure that's too far, too far forwards. So hang on a second. I'm going to back up a little bit more. Then we'll give it another go. Come on. About there, I reckon. Should do it. Now I have to get above the, tur the, the turrets and spawn. And there she is. There she is in all her glory. Now, hopefully she'll drop out the sky in a second. And hopefully, hopefully. Yep, there she goes. Twink and land beautifully on the platform. It's like I planned it or something. Now this platform should be a little bit bigger than I need, but um, I didn't want it to be too tight. See, look, fits with room to spare. I could even move it forward a bit more because of her shape and everything. Gives you that bit extra, extra space. Now I don't think there's any way to get in down here at the bottom of the ship. Um, but um, this is a beauty of a ship I mean just look at that just look at that and I will even well I'm just going to do a quick save here come back in later on and do a um Saves screw up my thing. Um, anyway, I'll do a quick save there because I will come back in and um, probably do a nice little screenshot of her in position. I might actually reposition her for the screenshot. Um, 
because that will be the episode screenshot. But if you're watching this, you've already seen that. So here we have parking bay. Enough room for um, two ships, or well, three. Um, the Vixen does actually fit in one of those bays. I've tested it. I have a tank I'm wanting to bring in as well. Now, if we, she does only have, I think. It, one or two downward thrusters um, not amazing like heavy lift capabilities if we need to I've done this before you can actually retrofit another XL thruster into there um, which is quite impressive and there's the core here's our shield generator um, we have Oh, we'll go back into here. We have advanced constructors. And I think these are advanced as well over this side. Or are they large? All advanced. A couple of extra cargo bays. Cargos. Um, cargo wise, there is absolutely ludicrous amounts of cargo still on this one. So you have these basic ones which are great for the small things so we'll rename those sorry not ludicrous amounts we have two huge cargo controllers and one very well sized ammo controller let's get some power in going on there now obviously what I've got on me won't go very far 12% but that's why we're working on bringing in all the fuel we're working on. I love what he's done with the generators up here. I mean, this is like, this is why Jay Randall is so popular on the workshop. Man, he's so good at this. So, you'll see that some, <coughs> that some of the bits in here could be done with like the modern floating LCDs. In the modern ones, he probably would have done that. But this is an older build for Jay Randall. I am going to want to install a teleporter in here, which I'm probably going to install around here somewhere. Because this is a nice little relaxation zone. Down here is a one farm, which has 18, 18 plots on it. Speaking of which, I'm hungry again. I am. The, running around in heavy armor really tanks your food. And even though I put a mobility boost and a jetpack boost in now, got rid of the two heavy, the two armor boosts. Here we have all the basic med stations, which are always good to have. A couple of extra storage repo repositories, and another farm down here. So all in all, thirty-six grow plots. Not as much as we've got in the base, but, you know, it should be enough to keep us alive. And keep us going. Now, there isn't vast amounts of this ship. There's, like, crew quarters. Here, I'll probably tarp one of these up a bit to make it, you know, like my quarters. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. Guest quarters. This area is a bit of something, nothing just done really because I think you're transiting here to where he's given access to a lot of the maintenance things there's RCS which obviously we don't use very much these days gonna get extremely warm in here because there's a lot of stuff going on I'm stood on top of a thruster I'm cooking alive there's grav gens fuel extra goodies um, I'm gonna have to leave before I die horribly so we're suffering from heat stroke. Okay, okay, let's not die. Yoink, 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 yoink. Anything where I don't know where a shower is. I'm sure we've got a shower here somewhere. I know where there's probably a shower. There's probably a shower in one of the bedrooms, isn't there? Tell me there's a shower in here. Yes. Ah, much better. There we go. And, oh, 
didn't go the other way. So we'll go all the way through. This takes out to the landing pad, which is at the back. Which is where I'm going to plonk um, the mining CV. Though I'm reconsidering bringing the existing mining CV with me. I have the one I used in a previous series, which I want to modify and take away the, um, the laser turrets on. Um, and I might bring that one in instead and use that one. I, I'm pretty sure it will still fit on that landing pad um, without too much issue. Then we'll move on up to the main bridge. So the main bridge straight away nice and easy to access the main controller. He's giving you nice little switches for exterior lights, shields, thrusters RCS so like standard flight mode turn on and off these don't actually change on his newer builds they do it's all very funky so he's got thrusters RCS standard flight mode off saves power so just out of interest off obviously turns off the the turrets he hasn't got like a heavy lift mode or anything like that on this version the only thing I might change up here is I might change this slightly and put a quick exit in somewhere so that I can you know like a blast door block or something like that um, move the window over and do something like that so I have quick in and out because I find that hugely useful on a ship but this ship is just awesomely beautiful you know looks amazing let's turn the thrusters on a second and we'll do that we'll, oop, we'll reposition it get it nice and central sit it down Ooh, I'm in flight mood don't do that there we go. No, 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 no. Down. Down, dog. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then you can... Yeah. See, it takes a lot of doing. <laughs> this is how I do screenshots. Takes ages. Um, but yeah, I'll fix that later. Anyway, really wanted to give you a good look at the ship. Look, she got one downwards... Th thruster that's it um, now like I say that doesn't provide enormous heavy lift capabilities but let's be honest that's not why you get this this ship the one thing you'll probably noticed is the guns oh the guns there are so many guns on this ship it is within the basic Imperion limits but there is areas we could stick yet more guns. So this is a battleship, hence the name Destroyer. And I can't wait to give it a go. I've never really used this ship in anger that much, so definitely looking forward to giving it a try. But yeah, typical J. Randall, beautiful build. Um, what more can I say, really? Anyway, back into first person. So, first thing we need to probably do is we're going to turn the thrusters off. Um, how long have you got on power? Two hours like this. I'm going to just turn you off full stop at the moment. Um first things we're going to do is start looking at fueling her up we should have plenty of fuel in the base and I'm building a whole whack more but there you go swallowed about 200 of those straight away pentaxid will also want to fill up now that fills up pentaxid but I will be reassigning um, 
some of these uh blah 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 blah, blah some of the cargo containers to be pentaxid and fuel and things like that um one thing i have learned and i've said this before about j randall builds and his builds are beautiful but they sometimes suffer an issue which i thought i could go down here oh that's it Where, where's me down i'm lost in my ship already Is that one there you go um one thing you will know about them or should know about them is they're not the toughest ships out there i mean obviously with shields i think the shield generator on this is a T2, I will be checking. Let's have a quick look here. Um, where is it? Shield, 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 shield. It's probably under warp drive, isn't it? Nope. Um, shields? I know you've got one, I've seen it. I can't see it there. Hang on. Shield, T2, yep. Yeah. There we go. Well, it has got a T2. Um, if that T2 goes down, you can't withstand a lot of damage. You will very quickly run into trouble. Um, so, I mean, I actually had a container like this on, I think it was a, I'm not sure if that was a J Rando build or not. Um, and I was using it for my Pentaxid, and it got blown up in a fight and left me stranded it got blown up very easily but yeah we'll be going around putting going to these containers and like right hello um, yes you best way is to just go like oh why 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 okay Taxid. Probably spelt wrong, but screw it. And then we're going to chuck all the like process pentaxid into there. So, yoink, 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 yoink. and I'll be processing more in the near future. And we'll go and chuck all the things like that. Fuel, we'll have one for fuel, one for all our miscellaneous goods where we're going to go and sell some stuff. Okay, that's because I I click that just as it opened. When I should know that it's all set up with signal logic. But there we go, uh, it's Astra Destroyer. I will put a link in as normal. We will be taking her out in the not too distant future, but that will not be just yet. We're going to have to get ready to armor her up, make sure we've got all the bits we need to leave the planet. And before I leave the planet, one thing I really want to do is get rid of the drone base, these artillery bases and the like which is going to be a bit of work to that end I also have a tank I've been working on to bring in it's not fully textured yet but it has been built and it is going to be you'll like this or someone will like this anyway um, it is the sleepy weasel I did say I would use it for another ship. The tank is gonna. My new tank is called the Sleepy Weasel. It will be going into the factory. And we will be getting the bits together small optronic bridges, small matrices. I believe we've got a lot of that already. This is just on a fuel making mission. So that will be busy, but. Small optronic bridges, matrices, we've basically already got a whole bunch of it. So let's hook up and see if we can put some of this in. Clear up um, 
because we are very full here. Need to clear some of this up. And in all honesty, what I should actually be doing, I'll put these um, bridges in and these matrices in. What I should be doing is putting some of the bits in. I won't put the actual ingots in. I'll put in some of the bits. For, oh god. What have I done? Uh, it's 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 filled up beyond capacity. This is the problem now. I'm this one of the things this base is starting to get too full. So if I just go to ore storage and bond to that, I can pick that back pick that up and problem solved. There we go. But yeah, it's starting to get a little too full. And what I'll need to do is go through with the pearl here. And if I take a bunch of these parts, these will be excellent for making sure that, that the weasel is basically really quick to build in the workshop. Because this actually scythes a lot of time off build speeds putting these in so I can put a whole bunch of those in and we should get quite a way there well I'll go through the process and then we'll see how far we've got okay so plowing through I have basically gone through most of the blocks I don't want to keep and chucked them in here um, and I did actually add about 600 cesium which I already had kicking around um, and we're mostly there as you can see our build time is down to just 11 minutes so that is pretty awesome the main thing is gonna be things like the Zask and um, we need some Neo so we'll take some Neo we'll take some Arrestrum some Zoscosium. We will probably go and do a run to get more of these things before we leave as we have the auto miners going in the background. We can afford now to just drop those in. I'm not going to put all that Neo in. Um, and then it's just iron and sorry, cobalt and iron not even that much iron. Now again if I really wanted to drive the time down I could literally just go back to that POI and start scything blocks off it. But I don't need to. I've got the materials. I can live with 11 minute build time. The main thing that I'm going to be short of here by the looks of it, which I don't see any of which I thought we had, was cobalt. I thought I had some cobalt. Apparently, I have none. None at all. Which surprises me a little, but nevertheless, those be the facts. Yeah, that seems surprising to me that I don't have any cobalt at all. Well, that's what the system says, no cobalt. I mean, it did say no um, no uh, fuel tanks earlier, and we had those. So, um, who knows, might be lying to me. But um, I don't believe I've got any other cobalt kicking around. We'll just check on the pearl if there's any there. Um, 67, not a lot. A bit of Neo and a few things like that but um, we can chuck those over into the ore storage as well get rid of those but nothing amazing there so I can see that we'll have to go on a huge expedition over to um, the auto miner that's just over there and that'll probably get us enough cobalt um, let's just make sure I've got some of these on my person. 
I have. And do we reckon the Vixen has enough storage space for this? Possibly? But we'll find out. I mean, I should really use the hopper or something, but... This should give us more than enough cobalt. We won't even have to take all of it. It's been working away in the background. Yeah, look, there's loads here. There's probably going to be more here than we can carry. But we'll see. Uh, yoink. Yeah. <laughs> and now I get, don't know what to do with it. I end up dropping it and sad times and things like that. Um. Oh god. Uh, we can carry some more. Picked up another 14. Picked up another 530. Still leaves us with a block of 400 down here. I knew I should have brought a different ship. But I'm just out of range over there at the base. Which is a little bit annoying. But nevertheless, we can easily, easily fixed. Easily fixed, he says. We'll just go to ore storage. Chuck that in. Go to the Vixen. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then we go straight back down. It's a lot more problematic if you're um, miles away from your base. And that happens. Um, the best way to deal with it is actually to split the stack first. Um, and take a part stack if you're worried about that. God, it's dark. There you go. Helps if I turn some lights on. Right, there we go. Down, yes, thank you. We'll put the last of that ore in there. And we can put that one on the go. The other thing, of course, I'm forgetting to do, which I should do, is the fuel here is now at 35% because... I've got so many fuel tanks which are not being used. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Should have loads. Chuck another small mountain's worth in there. And we're at 32 hours. And that's 32 hours where this one is, is going. And I believe the um, the large constructor is probably still going as well. Which we'll have a check. Have you finished? No, nope. that one's still going too. But in its wonderful Elyon way where it doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. You know why it's not doing anything, don't you? Because it's full. Same as why if I turn this one on and turn that one on, get that going. But even though I've pulled all those bits out, I think it's full. Yeah, it's still full. So I need to pull some of these materials out. Oh, look! And my cobalt's appeared. I'm sure that wasn't there a minute ago. I swear it wasn't there a minute ago. I would swear blind it wasn't there a minute ago. Alright, so we'll chuck that in there, there we go. How's that? Uh, that has freed up a whole 400's worth of space. So I'm still going to have to free up some more space here. Part of it is because I'm just slamming in all these bottles and everything. The easy way to sort this out is actually just to move the pentaxid out of there and that should give us a load of space there you go pentaxid is vast pentaxid takes up so much inventory space so there we go that is off and running i will be setting the constructor to start work on the on the one remaining 
bridge is it? Oh no, I need one bridge and two matrices. Now, it's so tempting to chuck in that T3 core, but I don't think it'll work for me. I don't know. Um, I don't think it'll do a lot for me in terms of bridges and matrices. Um, so we're gonna stick a load of those going, get everything absolutely hammering out. The other thing I need to look at, which I'm forgetting that I need to look at at the moment, is if I go back to the Astra, I need to have a look at how much ammo I need. So I need a bunch. Ugh. I wish it would. There was an easy way to know what ammo you actually can transfer across. Because I have a whole bunch of ammo here, like this one. But this is for HVSV, so that's no good. That's for HVSV. That's for bases. Um, 15 mil and um, 30 mil be easy enough to make. So I will have to spend a bunch of time between episodes lining up all the materials to get the hell out of Dodge. Um, I will likely go over and do one last collection on the Zascosium and Arrestrum in between episodes um, and I will try and get it so that the tank is hopefully on the build because then we can start looking at clearing the last POIs on this planet before we leave. But with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching like and subscribe as always, and join us again next time. Thanks a lot.